The ongoing strike between Hollywood writers and studios could be coming to an end. The WGA and the association representing the studios are set to resume talks today and industry trades report they're close to a deal. Bradley Blackburn has more on where things stand now. There is no Hollywood ending yet, but the stage is set for a potential deal between the Writers Guild of America and the Hollywood Studios. Late Saturday, the two sides issued a short joint statement saying they'll meet again Sunday. We're hearing that they're close, but that um, perhaps not as close as some of the press reports, uh, which have suggested that it's all down to the drafting by the lawyers. Variety and other trade publications report the studios have presented their best and final offer for a new three-year contract. It comes after four days of negotiations that reportedly included the heads of Disney, Warner Brothers Discovery, Netflix, and Universal. This was not the point they wanted. They thought they were going to, I think on both sides, thought pretty much they're going to have this over by Thursday. It dragged a little bit into Friday. Now it's dragged further. The writer's strike started in May and actors joined in July with SAG-AFTRA launching its own strike. Together, they have frozen the entertainment industry. For writers, sticking points come down to residual pay, staffing in writers' rooms, and the use of artificial intelligence. I do hope that I can get back to work and um, that it's over soon, but only with a fair contract. These demands look at a world that has changed dramatically over the past decade, an industry that's changed dramatically. Hollywood insiders say a deal with writers could help pave the way for actors. The Screen Actors Guild has said the studios will not meet with them to negotiate. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. By some estimates, the strike has cost the U.S. economy more than $5 billion.